Welcome to the Friday, April 12th, 2013 edition of Erner Berry's Daily Video, sponsored by Erner Berry's set of fully laminated seafood wall charts. In today's video, the USDA adjusts its beef and pork production and export forecast. And later, we analyze a rise in U.S. mahi prices after steady declines in 2012. Now let's look at the markets with your host, Jamie Chadwick. U.S. meat consumption ranks second globally and is nearly three times the worldwide average as the industry's overall dollar sales continue to grow despite a decade decline in domestic consumption. According to research from the U.S. Meat and Poultry Trends and Package Facts, U.S. meat and poultry sales topped $85 billion in 2012, up from $73 billion in 2008, while sales are projected to reach $98 billion by 2017. The positive sales figures contrast meat consumption, which has declined in the last 10 years due to public concerns that excessive red meat consumption is unhealthy, as well as poor economic conditions that have impacted consumers' food budgets. Still, U.S. meat consumption still ranks near the top globally. For more consumption facts and figures for the U.S. meat and poultry industry, as well as for other center-of-the-plate protein news, head over to foodmarket.com. In other news, the USDA has adjusted its 2013 beef and pork production and export forecast to decline. Here is Ernerberry's pork market reporter Russell Barton with the latest. The 2013 forecast of total red meat production is lowered from last month as export estimates have also fallen due to the pace of trade in the first quarter of the year. According to the USDA's April 2013 World Agriculture Supply and Demand Estimates Report, beef production is forecast down as lower than expected fed cattle and bull slaughter, more than offset greater cow slaughter. Meanwhile, the pork production forecast is raised as the March 28th quarterly hogs and pigs report indicated a slightly higher than expected first quarter pig crop and a smaller decline in the number of sows which farrowed or are expected to farrow in the first half of the year. Hog carcass weights are also raised as feed prices are forecasted lower. Additionally, the USDA said its beef export forecast for 2013 is lowered, reflecting the pace of trade in the first quarter and pork exports have been cut as exports to a number of markets are relatively slow. For a complete look at beef and pork market trends, head over to Comtel and click quotations under the red meat tab. Thanks, Russell. To wrap up today's video, Seafood.com News staff writer Michael Ramsing looks at a rise in mahi market prices following a consistent decline in 2012 figures. The frozen mahi market in the U.S. appears to be showing the final stages of price correction after last season's record high prices, despite declining imports for the 2012 and 2013 season. According to Erner Bear quotations, prices for 8-ounce frozen portions of Central South American mahi rose 5 cents to $4.95 per pound. This is the first increase in the market since quotations went unlisted in June 2011 but remains the lowest price for the item since January 2011 when quotations were reported at $4.99 a pound. The increase bucks a trend that saw the mahi market post consistent declines after reaching an all-time record high price of $7.62 a pound in December 2011 following a poor 2010-2011 season that resulted in limited availability. But mahi prices started to decline in 2012 after industry sources reported a lack of demand for the pricier item. At the same time, U.S. imports rebounded to near-record high levels as the 2011 and 12 season saw near-record imports flood the U.S. market amid replacement costs rising to record highs, shrinking sellers' margins. Notably, as trading prices declined in the U.S., so did overseas replacement prices for the 2012 and 13 season that started in October. However, replacement prices ticked up marginally in February as imports trended considerably lower compared to the previous month. So, as replacement costs show some signs of life in February along with an uptick in earnerberry quotations, it appears the mahi market to be somewhat correcting itself from what may have been artificially high prices due to the influx of 2011 and 12 imports. Thanks, Michael. That concludes today's video. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful weekend. Today's video is sponsored by Erner Berry Seafood Wall Chart Series. These fully laminated wall charts focus on the U.S. market and emphasize the most common commercial Gulf of Mexico, East Coast fish and shellfish and sport fish. Please visit shop.ernerberry.com or call 800-932-0617 to get your posters today.